Oh, yes! Let's go. Like so many other people, the disappointment of the release of Battlefield 2042 has lingered on for quite a while. For most players of the game, um, its player base has dwindled quite a bit, although in recent weeks and in the last month, the player base has started to grow a bit. Uh, part of that is because of some of the updates that they've done. Um, obviously, when I downloaded this game, when it first released, after a six-month delay, and after playing the beta, um, my cautious optimism probably should have been a little more tempered, um, and then we found out what we were really getting. <laughs> Which was not what we thought. I originally had bought this game on PlayStation 5, um, played it off and on for about a month to two months, maybe three months. Uh, couldn't bring myself to delete the game from my library because I spent the money on it, and eventually I said, you know what, no, can't do it. Um, on console, P on PC, particularly trying to aim with a controller, it just didn't feel right. And I've talked to some people who said, well, you know, it's just a different game, and you know, okay, you know, yeah, it is a different game, but it's still, it still should work, and, and I think it was pretty clear that there was an issue with aim assist and uh, how it functioned uh, off our controller settings. Now, I have not um, hooked my controller up to my PC yet to play this, uh, to try the controller on PC uh, as opposed to trying it with the PS5. I do know that the PS5 controls now feel a little bit better. They still feel a little wonky, and I, I just can't figure out exactly what it is. But I, I do want to try playing this uh, on PC with a controller to see if it's the PlayStation version of the game or if it's just a controller issue altogether. Um, I'm not 100% sure on that just yet. I played the trial for Battlefield 2042 on PC. Ended up having quite a bit of fun despite still what the game was having issues with and gameplay, um, matchmaking, you know, the way things were set up. But uh, as far as actually playing the core mechanics of the game, uh, playing on a PC was a, th a thousand times more fun. Um, that's because I was able to use my mouse to aim and uh, it actually worked. So the real question is, is at the end of July 2022, is Battlefield 2042 any good or is it fun to play and I think the answer right now is that um, it kind of depends <laughs> um, it's I'm gonna say this uh, whether you're playing it on PC or you're playing it on a console it is um, significantly better than it was when it released uh, core functions of the game work uh, there are far less bugs although there still are bugs um, the game functions in a way that it should for the most part and provides a significantly more fun experience and part of that um, also has to do with uh, DICE realizing that some of their ideas just weren't going to work. Lately when jumping into some All Out War uh, base games uh, for multiplayer uh, I've found that a lot of them end up being 64 players instead of 128 and that alone has I think created a much more battlefield experience and what i mean by that is even though specialists are still i think in my opinion kind of diluting the game a bit from team play um when there's less people on the map and 64 players is still plenty of people there you're not in any shortage of action um really ever in this game um but you'll i just noticed there's just more people playing together squads seem to stay together there's less distraction in front of players at every moment to keep them from remembering what it is that they're trying to do which may be capture a point or support a teammate or maybe resupply a teammate help heal a teammate whatever it may be um those things just seem to be happening a lot more often now and i think one of the reasons for that is is definitely uh because of smaller player counts also, um, Exodus, the new map, is a breath of fresh air. The map itself looks and feels a little bit more um, like it's lived in than really any of the base maps have in this game so far. Um, the There's plenty of places for cover. Um, it just feels more like a battlefield map than a lot of these other maps uh, from the base game did. Now, I do know that they have plans to redesign a lot of the older maps that they already put in this game to to add cover add more lived in spaces uh, quote unquote um and 
just make the maps feel less empty uh, overall, and I think that's a good thing too. As I said, there are still some issues though. Um, I recently, about a week ago, maybe a week and a half ago, bought Battlefield 2042 on PC. Um, it was on sale, and I remembered, hey, you know what? The trial was a lot of fun, um, and despite whatever problems the game may have, I am still a huge Battlefield fan, no matter what, no matter what happens. That's, I mean, I grew up with this game, basically. Um, and uh, so I just said, hey, you know what? I'm going to get it on PC. And, and so far, it has, it's been a lot of fun to play. I played it quite a bit. Um, but something that sucks right now is that um, if you try to play, at least with a PS, I haven't tried to play with an Xbox player yet, but I'm on a PC. I tried playing with a friend on a PS5, a few different friends on PS5, actually. Um, something in the VoIP system doesn't communicate between PC and PS5. And I don't, I don't want to broaden that statement and say that it's, uh, VoIP between PC and console doesn't work because I, I can't confirm that. Maybe you guys could let me know in the comments if you've played this and tried that. Um, but uh, certainly right now, I've, on three different attempts with three different people, I've not been able to use VoIP with uh, uh, PS5 players um, on my PC, and that's, you know, unfortunate. Again, that's not the only bug still in this game, but um, the number of bugs in this game has significantly dropped and um, aside from that I really ran into maybe two things that I even remembered uh, while I was making this video um, that stuck out as something that would be even worth noting and one of them really wasn't the other one was just some hit register things I had died and then was revived and when I got back up uh, was shooting people and couldn't hit anyone that was in a portal game too though I didn't run into that in any of the base games I'm not sure if that is uh, those things are connected but so far this game has been absolutely a lot of fun to play over the last week and a half here, and I'm um, after having taken quite a long break on it, um, and again playing it on PC, um, it's been. Uh, uh, I feel <laughs> like I can be a, you know, a Battlefield fan again without being too worried about hiding my face when I say it, uh, which is a great feeling. Uh, because, like I said, this is a game that kind of got me into gaming with people. My first group of real gamer friends um, from all over the world, um, none of whom I knew personally beforehand, um, I met all through Battlefield, Battlefield 3 and 4. Um, so it's it's great to have this game feel like it's becoming Battlefield again, finally. And um, I, I, the specialists still are a thing that I, it just kind of bugged me a bit. I mean, I'm having fun with with some of the gadgets you can use with them, uh, trying to find ways to use them, so I'm still playing the game the way it was intended, but ultimately I feel like the lack of class systems, and I know this is beating a dead horse, but the lack of class systems is still something that really does deter from team play um, in the event that players want to play that way. Um, it makes it a little more difficult to do, um, and, and it incentivizes uh, individual performance a little bit more than it does team play. But having said all that, um, would I recommend this now in July, you know, several months after the game's release and after all the stuff that's gone through? I would say, yeah, I think I would. And and even on PS5, which I've, I've kind of messed around with a little bit too um, lately, um, like I said, even though the aiming still feels a little bit off, it's uh, it's definitely better than it was. Um, it's It feels playable, at least, on PS5. Um, you might find an issue with it on console a little bit here and there, uh, more so you do on PC, but if you have a PC, I'd say, I mean, yeah, absolutely. If you're a fan of Battlefield and all the reviews have kept you from wanting to get it, uh, you weren't wrong, uh, but uh, I think you your mind will be either changed if you played it and didn't like it, um, or you will be pleasantly surprised with what you find now. So that's kind of my end verdict right now, and um, if you guys are playing, let me know. I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. I do appreciate you. Uh, you guys stopping by the channel today uh, thank you very much uh, if you like this video please give it a like uh, maybe subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and um, we'll see you uh, down the road cheers to everybody have a great day